you.
Mami, I do not hear you more in here today. I will not hear you more. I am here to make a point. I am here to make a point.
Mama Esther Krampa. Bonsa, bonsa, bonsa. Hallelujah. And a day, a day, a day, a day, Papa, happy birthday. And we wish you well in uh, all you do. Amen. Metsonyo. Amen. on behalf of the grandchildren to give their speech to Grandpa. Rosila, if you are here. 
Yes, I need a bonnet. Rosalind. Rosalind. Yanum, I drew one more. May she ask you put in the baby? Was it the Rosalind? And yes, 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 We as grandchildren are truly blessed to have an amazing grandfather. Even though he doesn't like giving us the Wi-Fi password to the internet at his house, we always manage to get the password from Priscilla, then he changes it before our next visit. <laughs> when, we, when we get the password, he always says to us, What's on the day? <laughs> With a huge smile on his face, but he loves us. He's always happy to see us and filled with joy, smiling ear to ear every time. One more magnificent year has just been added to your life. God has blessed our grandfather with, for the past 65 years, and we hope God continues to look over him and guide him through many more. We love you, Grandpa! <laughs> That's a Ghana Parliament. The way you say, the farmer Sumuani, we love you, Grandpa. Ronadie, Ante Krukura, Rosmond Apira, on behalf of the children. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, elders, pastors, friends, and family. Thank you all so much for taking the time to celebrate our dad with us. Our dad is a very special and a very different man. And growing up, of course, I had not recognized this difference or this amazingness in him. So often in times, I've talked and wondered, why can he be like that dad? He lets their kids out whenever they want. They can do whatever they want. And I thought, why is he so strict? Why is he, you know, so strict? And most of the time, I mean, we lived in the house and we talk, why doesn't daddy just relax, like loosen up daddy? <laughs> but you know, my dad doesn't do what is popular. He is different in a way that, above all, he likes to please God. He do things that pleases God. And if it's right with God, if it's biblical, doesn't matter what the trend, or what's popular, or what, you know, what he has to do. He will stick with what God wants him to do. My dad, today daddy, today daddy, Cynthia, Evelyn, Florence, Priscilla, AJ, and myself, we thank you for the courage that you had to do what you had to do. Because of you, we are who we are today. The courage to stir, to stay firm in your principles when we didn't even when we didn't know any better. We are who we are today because of you, of those principles and those that structure. But more importantly, Daddy, today we like to thank you for instilling the faith and the belief of God in us. Because no matter how we strayed, no matter how far we went, we always came back to the kingdom. We always came back to serve God. And we thank you for instilling that in us. Daddy, today your church, as you can see, your children, your family from Chicago, from New York, from London, you know, we're all here celebrating you because of your, that your sacrifices that you've made for us. So today we want you to really take time out and know that your children, your family, your church, we love you, and we really, really do appreciate everything that you have done for us. May God richly bless you. Amen. Great <laughs> Go and give him a hug one after the other. Hug him. A disciplinary father. A father who cares about the future of the children, no matter what. He would never compromise. Put his feet on the ground 
and make sure the others are being followed at home. <laughs> What 
Also, birthday to the whole 50th birthday, Royal King Bamberg Ball. August 27th. Table number Daniel. Table number Daniel.
Why are you going to be a good man?